I'm having this problem with my truck where the brake lights stay on whether I'm pressing the brake pedal or not. As you can see, I am not pressing the brake pedal, neither is Casper for that matter. But if you look at the brake lights, they are on. But if I reach down and pull the brake pedal up, they turn off. I don't want to have to do that. So today, I'm going to try and dig in and see if I can find the problem. Lights are turned on and off with switches, so I started there. I followed the brake pedal arm up and I found these two switches. So I'm going to see if one of these is the cause of my problem. I took the trim piece that was just below the steering column off because it was a pain to get at the, the brake switches otherwise. I mean, it's still a pain, but this will make it a little bit easier. So now I have a, a decent view of this connector and the bracket that is holding on at least one of the switches that I'm gonna try and look at. After messing with it a while, I'm gonna try and remove the bolts that are holding in this brown bracket here, or as I say rust covered bracket here, from the other side. They feel like 10 millimeters, so I'm gonna do that. Hopefully that will allow me to take this off and give me easier access. All right, so I was able to snake my hand up and behind the wiring with my little ratchet to be able to get on those. And I will not be able to film this. So with this free, I can do a little bit of troubleshooting. I can press the brake pedal and see if it lights up, or I can just check to see if the brake light is on now. With that switch not pressed, the brake light is not on. So that is not the issue. There's another switch right behind it. I'm guessing that's the culprit. All right, now I'm gonna see if pressing the brake pedal with the other switch still installed makes the brake lights come on. So it does look like that switch there is the issue. And it is connected to the brake pedal lever or arm there and up there is connected to that rod. So I am going to remove the connector and take it out. All right, after looking at it, it looks like I can just pull this down and this part will slide down the, the brake pedal and the top part will release and that'll give me better access to this plug. So let's try it. Nice. So now I can pull it the rest of the way off the pedal and there is lubricant up there. Okay. But now I can disconnect those connectors and compare it to the new one, which I bought months ago. And I'm just getting around to checking this out. I didn't expect it, but there is some kind of gooey lubricant on that switch. So I'm going to go wipe it off. But in the first episode of New Shop Rags, this is one of my favorite t-shirts of all time. I picked it up years ago. It became a seat cover and now it is getting demoted to shop rag. Now I've got gloves on and it has become a race against daylight. So now let me see if I can get these connectors off. Gently prying a small screwdriver between the connector and the switch really helped. All right, now I can compare it to the new one. All right, they look the same. Do they behave the same? At first glance, they behave the same, but they do behave a little differently. So this is the new one, and this is the old one. When I press up on this one, it flexes, and it's not, not as crisp and springy. With well, a new one, it doesn't flex. Boom. And that is very crisp. So I'm gonna swap this in and hopefully the problem will be solved.
reconnect the connectors and slide this up the arm. Here's a quick thing to mention about reinstalling. There is a slot right here that receives this part of the switch. So if you don't line this up with that slot, this part won't go over the, the rod that is up top. And there it is, the new switch installed. I'm going to reconnect the other switch I took out and see if I have any issues. I am running out of daylight, but I'm going to start the truck and see if the brake lights work properly and see if they tend to hang and stay on like they used to. Well, they're turning off now. I'll drive the car and I'll update you guys if I have any issues, but it looks like it's fixed for now. After a closer look at the old switch, it looks like there are a few things that could have made it not operate properly at this point. Firstly, this arm is a lot thinner than the one on the new one, and it flexes quite a bit. But once it gets here, that flex might not have been allowing it to actuate the switch properly. I suspect that I would get here and that's where it would sit and the lights would stay on, but I'd put my foot under the pedal and pull it up and it would do that and turn them off. But um, yeah, I just like to kind of get an idea of why things fail. I'll be driving the truck a little more than I usually do because my Mark IV Golf picked up a nail in one of its tires, and it'll be a few days before the new tire arrives. That'll give me enough trips to see if replacing the switch solved the issue. If I have any other issues with the brakes or other parts of the truck, I will share them on this channel. Hit subscribe if you'd like to follow along. Thanks for watching. Take care.